Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about EV charging station in MATLAB simulation. So this is simulation model of uh, EV charging station in MATLAB. So this model consists of uh, two sections. So one is uh, grid and uh, the grid converter and then corresponding control. So the grid going to be connected to the charging port uh, via this LCL filter and then this converter so this converter going to be controlled by means of two control method one is voltage control method another one is current control method uh, generally it is called a feed forward decoupling control concept so for that we need to measure this deceiling voltage so first we need to measure the deceiling voltage so the deceiling voltage going to be uh, compared with the reference voltage 800 and it going to be processed via PA controller so this will be generate the ID reference current and then uh, here we are going to in a EV charging station just we are going to control only that uh, uh, real power ok so here we are making uh, IQ reference will be 0 so before that we need to measure another thing right so here we need to measure the grid voltage and then we need to measure the, the inverter current ok so this grid voltage and inverter current should be converted into uh, DQ form that means direct and quadrature axis. So for that here you see that right we are converting that uh, uh, voltage 3 phase voltage into alpha beta naught and then we are going to convert alpha beta naught into DQ naught and then here you see that right we are converting that uh, current inverter current 3 phase current into uh, DQ naught okay. So you have to operate this alpha beta naught to DQ naught and ABC to DQ naught. That means we have to apply power or Clark transformation, right? So we need a omega t. So omega t nothing but the phase angle with respect to time. That means so we need to synchronize that uh, inverter voltage and frequency with respect to grid voltage and frequency. Okay. So in order to synchronize this frequency, here we are going to use PLL. So in order to uh, use that PLL right you know to create that PLL so you have to take the voltage right alpha beta naught voltage and then that going to be converted into DQ naught and then you just you take only Q axis uh, voltage okay and then you have to compare with the zero then it going to be processed via PA controller and then it going to be integrated so this will be generated the omega t and then this omega t should be feedback to that uh, alpha beta naught to DQ naught okay so this will be act as here PLL phase, phase lock loop so this is used to generate that uh, omega t the omega t nothing but the phase angle with respect to time so it will be used to synchronize that frequency with respect to grid voltage and frequency so by using this PLL method we are synchronizing that inverter with respect to grid ok so here we are having that omega t that omega t going to be used to for converting that uh, 3 phase voltage and current into uh, VDVQ and IDIQ so here we have VDVQ and here we have ID and IQ. So already I told right that voltage control right. So voltage control just you have to measure the deceiling voltage and then compare with the reference voltage. So reference voltage we are going to maintain at 800 volt and then go and be process via PA controller. The PA control will be generated the reference ID reference. So this ID reference going to be compared with the actual ID. Again, it going to be compared with the PA controller. So this PA controller will be current controller. So this PA controller known as a voltage controller. So this PA controller, this voltage controller, voltage PA controller used to main uh, that mean it going to maintain the deceiling voltage constant um, around 800 volt. And this current control will be used to uh, control the current of the inverter according with the EV charging de demand. So next you have to apply this one. So this one nothing but a feed forward decoupling concept. Okay. And same way here you see that right IQ reference will be we are taken zero because we are going to control only the real power. We are not controlling the reactive power. And then you have to compare with the IQ and it going to be processed via PA controller. This is uh, Q axis current controller. And then you have to apply feed forward decoupling concept. And finally, here we have that uh, a control voltage in the form of D and Q axis. So next you have to apply inverse power transformation and uh, we will get the actual control signal in the form of ABC. 
then it going to be process way uh, that mean it going to be combined with the uh, triangular way and then it will be generate the six pulses so this six pulses going to be used to control this inverter so we are taking this pulse so that going to be used to control that uh, inverter okay so this inverter will be control according with the demand so what is the demand in the ev charging port okay so according with the demand in the ev charging port so it in the inverter going to be control and take the power from the grid to charge the ev so next part in that uh, ev charging station right so ev port okay so here we have uh, two kind of port right two kind of port so this a port category 1 or port point 1 port point 2 so that means this group of two two kind of group we are using here okay this is group 1 group 2 so each group having uh, 10 ports okay so 10 ev can be connected at a time so each ev battery right, having the separate uh, uh, controller right so it having that uh, uh, inbuilt uh, converters for charging okay so this is a converter so here you see that right so this is a converter here we used so this converter known as a bidirectional converter and then uh, here we are measuring the battery voltage you're going to be compared with the 400 volt so we are taken around battery voltage around 400 that means nominal voltage will be uh, 360 so when it's fully charged voltage is around 419 volt okay so then here we are controlling the voltage of the battery around 400 so this will be generate uh, reference current for that battery charging so this is voltage control and then the voltage control method right that means just you have to measure the battery voltage and compare with the 400 it process with APA controller so this will be generated the uh, IB reference so this IB reference going to be compared with the actual battery current and process via yeah, current controller so here we are using PA controller and then going to be processed via prelim generator so this it will be generate the pulse so we are taking the two pulse or direct pulse is to control this upper IGPT and uh, common limit pulse is to control this lower IGPT so here we are applying uh, CV and CC control constant voltage and constant current control okay the same control uh, same kind of option same kind of converter and uh, control option will be applied for a uh, all mod all ev charging port okay so here you see that right so all model all port having same con kind of converter and uh, controlling concept and here you see that right we are having that uh, same kind of battery but here we are using the soc level so we are taking a different soc level and how the system is charging for the each battery right so we are consider that uh, different soc level for uh, each ev battery and then how the system going to be control that uh, each ev depends upon the different soc level so this is the uh, that model of uh, ev charging in the matlab so next you have to check up uh, you have to check the result of the the EV charging station model. So here we have to check the grid voltage, point of common coupling voltage. So this is a point of common coupling voltage, and then grid voltage, and then DC link voltage. So here we have that uh, four parameter: I grid, V grid, I point of common coupling, and VDC. So next, uh, when you go inside each converter of the EV charging port, right? And then you have that uh, SOC of the that particular battery and current and voltage so you can measure this parameter for a all ev battery so i am going to run this model so here you see that so this is a dc link voltage so it will be starting uh, varying from 400 to maximum 1100 and then after some time right so it will be reached to 800 so reference voltage here we are maintaining around 800 so here you see that right this is a and grid voltage okay so grid voltage uh, so this uh, line to line voltage is okay so here we are measure, measuring face to face voltage okay so the line to line voltage here you will see that right so this line to line voltage we are seeing so now you see that right 
the dieseling voltage now is comes around the 800 volt and then here you see that this is the the output current right from the grid okay so this grid current okay so this is a line current so here you see that right bo both the grid voltage and and line volt so line current right line voltage of the grid and the line current of the grid right both are having in phase so this is a point of common coupling voltage otherwise called the inverter current okay so this is inverter current so next you can see the result for each ev separately so here you see that right so this is uh, the charging of ev1 okay so it will charge from 5 percentage and then you will see that uh, the current of charging here so charging current is around comes around uh, 420 amps okay so this is a voltage of charging so you will see that right it keep on increasing uh, same way you can uh, check the result for a uh, remaining ev battery also i am checking ev12 so here you will charge from 60 percentage and also you see that uh, charging current so charging current going to be vary according with the soc of the battery so here you see that right the charging current comes around uh, 70 amps uh, sorry 85 amps okay so based upon that soc level of the each ev right so that uh, charging going to be vary okay if EV SOC, EV battery SOC very low, right, is around 5%, 10 percentage, then it going for a fast charging concept, okay. When EV battery is very uh, high, more than 50 percentage, right, then it will be take uh, charging current very low, okay. So, and also you can check the detail here. So, this is a current, right, and current this is a duty cycle from that uh, P, this current controller this current from the voltage controller so this ev2 so you uh, you will get that uh, current around uh, minus 283 amps okay because it will be start from 10 percentage okay next time opening this this one so here you will get minus 400 because this ev1 battery right charging and uh, that means it's soc initial soc is five percentage right so here the system right support will be desired um, that uh, charging current based upon that uh, the level of soc of the uh, connected ev battery okay so this is the working of this ev charging station thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye